Hey there, it's Miles Pitcher from Superior Lending. Hope you're doing great. Hope it's been a good week for you. It's been a great week for us. We've been cranking away, um, moving through and helping lots of clients, which is what we love to do. Uh, today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the, the top myths that we are finding with clients who haven't bought a home before. Um, and I, I think this is great for us to be aware of because many times clients disqualify themselves before they even talk to an agent, a loan officer. And so I think it's really good for you guys to be aware of these and be able to help dispel these myths. Um, when somebody says, oh, we're gonna wait to buy a home, dig in a little deeper and ask them why they're gonna wait. So here's my list that we run into. <clears throat> Number one, there is still a massive part of the market or home buyers that believe you have to have 20% down payment. Um, please educate them that you can get some fabulous loans that are 0%, 3%, 5% down payments. Myth number two, private mortgage insurance is too expensive, therefore I have to have 20% down. Um, somebody with excellent credit can really get some PMI, private mortgage insurance, that is very inexpensive. Um, it's surprising how in inexpensive it is. Myth number three, credit pulls hurt my credit score. We've talked about this before on this video. The truth is that if somebody is shopping and has multiple mortgage companies pull their credit within a a tight time period, say somewhere around two weeks, that only counts as one poll and therefore will not hurt their credit. Next myth, you have to be employed for two years, or I'm sorry, you have to have self-employment for two years to be able to qualify for a mortgage. Again, we've talked about this on our uh, videos before. There are many different ways to be able to help somebody to get into a home after one year of self-employment if it's in, they've been in the same line of work um, and they've completed a full calendar year in, from January to December 31st and completed their taxes. That also goes for 1099 and commissioned employees. All right, another myth is that people believe they have to have perfect credit. Pre-COVID, the truth is pre-COVID, we were doing a lot of credit scores down to 580. Now it's really 620, but people with lower credit, um, they will often disqualify themselves without even taking a look to see if they have a possibility. Another myth is student loans are a deal breaker or student debt. Uh, there are certain loan, the truth is there are certain loan programs that will allow us to exclude people's student debt. So um, don't let people disqualify themselves because of that. Another big one that people sometimes misunderstand, this is more of a misunderstanding, and we try to clarify with our clients, is that the down payment they're making will cover the closing costs also. Please help the clients to understand that the down payment and closing costs are two separate things, and we have to address both of those. Anyways, I hope that you can take those myths. Maybe you guys have found some other myths that you'd like to share with us. Um, we're probably gonna put together a flyer. We'll be happy to share it with you that you can hand send out to your clients to help dispel these myths. Hope you have a great, great week. I hope you're killing it, showing lots of homes, selling lots of homes, uh, helping lots of clients. Miles from Superior Lending, have a great one.